As an owner, you know the Mazda RX-8 is a sports car like no other. The RX-8 combines bold design and innovative technology that redefines the sports car. When you think about your RX-8, the following characteristics probably come to mind. Innovative, stands out in a crowd, superior technology, and cutting edge. These characteristics also describe the RX-8 owner. You know more about your vehicle than the average driver, and you expect more out of your vehicle. This RX-8 product update underscores important information about your RX-8, ensuring it continues to be a source of pride and exhilaration. In this presentation, we'll briefly cover the unique characteristics of your RX-8's Renesis rotary engine. We'll take a look at how you can continue getting the most out of this revolutionary sports car, and we'll review features you may not be familiar with. Let's get started. The Renesis rotary engine in your RX-8 is the product of over 40 years of rotary engine development. Beginning with Cosmo Sport in 1967 and highlighted by a win at Le Mans in 1991, the rotary engine design has proven itself on the road and on the track. Named International Engine of the Year and Ward's 10 Best Engines, this current evolution of the rotary engine is truly groundbreaking. With just three major moving parts, the rotary engine provides an amazingly wide power band, a high power to weight ratio, and a low center of gravity, all ideally suited for a sports car like the RX-8. As an RX-8 owner, you're likely aware of the differences between a conventional piston engine, which needs to convert the up and down motion of the pistons and valves to rotating power to drive the vehicle's wheels, and the rotary engine, where all parts already rotate in the same direction. Overall, the Renesis rotary engine offers the following benefits. High revving power for genuine sports car performance, reduced exhaust emissions, and improved vehicle balance for better sports car handling. To get the most out of this incredible machine, we've included a few tips you should know. Some you may be aware of, others could be new to you. Take a look. Unlike a conventional engine, during the combustion process, a computer-controlled metering oil pump precisely controls oil injection into the rotary engine's combustion chamber to lubricate compression seals and sealing surfaces. This means that oil consumption is normal for a rotary engine. An engine oil level warning light illuminates if the engine oil level gets too low. The oil level warning light does not mean to change the oil or service your engine soon. It just means you should check your oil level. When the light illuminates, or every other time you add fuel, you should check the engine oil level using the following steps. Start by parking your vehicle on a flat surface. After the engine has been fully warmed up, turn it off and let it sit for five minutes allowing the oil to drain back into the crankcase. Next, remove the engine cover, remove the dipstick, wipe it clean, and put it back in the engine. Now remove the dipstick again and make sure the level is in the OK range between low and full. If the level is low, adjust to the full mark. It's best to keep the level as close to full as possible without overfilling the engine. Use a non-synthetic 5W20 oil with SL or ILSAC approvals on the container label. Although the Renesis rotary engine's oil seals are compatible with synthetic oil, the long-term effects are unknown. Therefore, Mazda does not recommend using synthetic engine oil. By regularly maintaining your RX-8, 
it will be a source of pride and exhilaration for years to come. As we mentioned earlier, the Renesis rotary engine's design provides the performance you're looking for while meeting strict emission standards. Due to this design, it's important that the engine reaches operating temperature before shutting it off. Ideally, the temperature gauge should be in the middle of the normal operating range. For any trip too short to reach normal operating temperature, perform the following steps. After starting and moving the vehicle, warm the engine until it reaches operating temperature or for five minutes at idle. Raise the engine RPM to 3,000 for 10 seconds. And return it to idle and turn off the engine. Turning off the engine before it reaches normal operating temperature may cause hard starting due to flooding. This occurs primarily in cold weather. To start a flooded engine, use the recommended de-choking procedure found in Section 7 of your owner's manual. If this page has not been updated, your Mazda dealer can update it for you during your next service visit. To de-choke the engine, hold the accelerator pedal to the floor. and crank the engine for about seven seconds to clear the fuel from the combustion chamber. Next, release the ignition switch, the accelerator pedal, and start the engine. After starting a flooded engine, you may see smoke from the exhaust. If the engine doesn't start, don't crank it for more than 10 seconds or you may weaken the battery. When the engine starts, simply release the ignition switch and take your foot off the accelerator. Avoid racing the engine. As you know, you normally don't press the accelerator pedal to start the car. Only press it during startup when performing the de-choking procedure. With the accelerator pedal pushed to the floor, the engine control computer cuts fuel when starting the engine. In the unlikely event your vehicle still won't start, have it checked by your Mazda dealer. Call 1-800-866-1998 to reach Mazda Roadside Assistance. They will arrange to tow your vehicle to the nearest Mazda dealership. For maximum performance, your RX-8 requires premium unleaded fuel with an octane rating of at least 91. Using unleaded fuel with an octane rating of 87 to 90 may cause a reduction in performance. Using unleaded fuel with an octane rating lower than 87 may cause the emission system to lose effectiveness. It could also cause engine knocking and serious engine damage. All RX-8s are equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system. A tire pressure sensor installed in each wheel sends tire pressure data to a receiver by radio signal. If tire pressure is too high or too low in one or more tires, the warning light will illuminate and a warning beep will sound. If this happens, simply check and adjust the air pressure as needed when the tires are cold. In colder weather, the warning light may illuminate, then go out after the tires are warmed up. This indicates your tire pressure is low and needs to be adjusted. However, the tire pressure monitoring system does not replace the need for checking tire pressure periodically as part of overall vehicle maintenance. Because the tire pressure sensors do not fit all wheels, Mazda does not recommend aftermarket wheels. This program has covered Mazda's unique Renesis rotary engine and other innovative RX-8 features. 
We hope this information will help you continue experiencing RX-8 exhilaration on every road you travel. You can learn more about the RX-8 and rotary engine at www.mazdausa.com slash rx8. For more information regarding the topics covered in this DVD, please refer to the Mazda Quick Tips and Driver's Guide included with your vehicle at the time of purchase. Thanks for watching.